What is happening guys? Thanks for stopping back by here the channel with the Rust Belt Mechanic. Today we've got one more tool review. I know this week's been a fulfilled snap-on week over the last, well, I guess two weeks. We've been getting some really cool tools lately and this one I kind of held off because I really wanted to give it a good test before I showed it to you guys. It's the brand new snap-on CTSR 761 right angle drill. We're gonna check this out today. Stay tuned. So as always, Snap-on was a little bit slow to get into the game of these right angle drills. As for comparison, I brought along my Milwaukee right angle screw gun today, just to give you guys a, a check out of the differences in them. I know a couple of months ago, uh, Snap-on did come out with the chucked head that compares to the M12 Milwaukee. Milwaukee one's been out for about a eh, year and a half, two, you know, two years or so, and I've been using that one off and on for that amount of time. So we'll go into what the Milwaukee had. Uh, the RPM rate on this one is right around 800 RPM, so not too bad. It does use the M12 line battery, 12 volt, and I have been using the six amp hour battery to get a little bit more uh, longevity out of the system. It makes it pretty nice. It does have an adjustable torque on it and speed. Scroll down to two, and it takes a little bit to spool up. Reversible, the adjustable chuck that will receive any of, you know, pretty much anything you shove in there. It does have an LED light on the front. All in all, pretty easy tool. Uh, I went with this one over other right angle drills because it does have a shorter chuck to it as compared to the, you know, other brands of you know, Craftsman or whatever that I was finding, which is actually very slim pickings on the market for a right, good right angle battery drill. So that one was a look with the Milwaukee one. And then the Snap-on one, right here, the new 761, we will give a check of the difference in head. So difference in length right there, you have about an inch shorter length. And when we're talking about a 90 degree angle, for one of these drills, that really does help in tight spots. It, it, it does help. So when we chuck this thing up, it does have the nice easy chuck. And like I was saying earlier, this uh, Snap-on does have the version with the chuck. I'm just reviewing this one because it's the one I got, and this one did come out, you know, most recently last week. Does have LED light on the front. The RPMs on this one are quite a bit higher. This one reaches right around, uh, I think it said 1,550 RPMs. So the RPMs are a lot higher on this one, especially if you're gonna use uh, the chucked drill bits. They are really awesome for that. I am a huge fan of the 14.4 line, as you, know, you guys probably already know, that's for sure. I love that these have the battery uh, magnets that go on it that you can stick wherever you need to does have the reversible trigger and it is adjustable in your clutch that you have for it so that makes it pretty nice to have that adjustable as well height the snap-on is about three quarters of an inch taller longer so it makes up for it in that loses a little bit in height i do have the battery on it i guess i could check that one so you got about half an inch difference in between the two. In testing them, the battery life is really good. Uh, like I said, I went with the four amp hour battery on this one just to give it a little bit of a you know comparison on that. The battery on this, on the Snap-on, does last a little bit longer, especially with the torque that it's able to do and the RPMs. It gets the job done a little bit faster as well. You have a, this one spools up pretty low. If, even if I go up on the highest setting, it does have a little bit of delay. Whereas the snap-on, well I guess I'm hurting you here. 
We have very instantaneous power. It is a two speed as to where the Milwaukee has only one speed. It does have a battery indicator here on the back of the tool, whereas the Snap-on one, it has its battery indicator light right here on the side, just like any other 14.4 volt line. But the torque on this one is pretty much instantaneous. I really like that about it. So those are the positives of the two. Let's get into the negatives of what I really thought that these had. Uh, I've tested the Milwaukee over the last year and this one I know it's only been out really soon and I've only tested it for about a week, but there are some negatives that I have to point out. I don't like that the M12 is a little bit thicker. I'm not a big fan of the chucked head. Uh, I like to have something that's a little bit smaller. So I know that the snap-on comes on top for having that smaller surface head. I do a lot of conversion vans that the cabinets are just really short in size. So fitting this in there, having that is a really nice tool to have in those kind of spaces. Back to the Milwaukee. Another negative would be I don't like the charging time on the batteries. The batteries take quite a bit to charge, I think, compared to the Snap-on 14.4 line. And other than that, functions very well. Battery life was a little bit shorter, but all in all, a really good tool. LEDs are in the end. It does work. And the price point on this one is right around 80 bucks. Warranty comes out on top on this one. Warranty is a five-year limited warranty through Milwaukee, whereas the Snap-on only got a year warranty. They do market to the uh, guys who are in shops, so I don't know if that's why they only give it a year warranty, but it only does have a year warranty. Batteries on the 14.4 line do have a two-year warranty. Negatives on the Snap-on one. The one of the negatives that I had is I don't know if it's just that it's a new tool, but the speed right here likes to get caught up right in the middle so every once in a while I kind of had to give it a little chuck here just to be able to switch it back and forth. Uh, I'm not a big fan that the button for the reversible trigger here is so clicky and it's pretty tiny. This one has a flop back and forth little flap trigger so I don't like that that's so tiny. Other than that this one came out on top like I said on battery life and torque and speed so with that compounded with the smaller head to it I think this one's gonna be a top tool for me I know for you guys that it comes out to price point as well this one comes out just over 200 US dollars this one's right at 80 dollars and I know you know you guys may think I'm a snap on fanboy I'm not a big you know killer on the warranty for these I use these day in and day out and my snap on rep takes care of me he really does so when it comes to the tool, he'll take care of me over the warranty of what Snap-on does give a lot of times. And Milwaukee, I don't have time to be sending this in or finding a representative or store that will warranty these out as fast. I like when the Snap-on tool guy comes to me to fix my tools. I don't see this tool failing in the future. This one has not failed over the last year. So I don't see it really being a huge issue anyways. The price point was a little bit higher, but you pay for the little bit of extra quality and for the convenience of the guy coming to you. I don't have any real fancy tests to show you guys the torque and differences on this one. I'm just going by specs on it and what I've used it over the last week. And you guys can take my word for it or you guys can go check them out yourself. The Snap-1 one does have a higher RPM and more torque. The battery life was longer and it does fit into the smaller spaces. So. My tool, number one, is going to be the Snap-on tool over the Milwaukee. The price point didn't make up for the differences and the pluses of the two tools. So there was a review. I hope you guys enjoyed that today. I've got a couple more coming up in the pipeline. We've got more Snap-on tools coming out real soon. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to be talking with my rep. They do have their Snap-on tool convention. I kind of tried to get into it, but they said no-go. You're not a rep. so. I'm not going to have any on-hand availability to check that thing out, but I know some really cool things are going to be coming out of that convention. Stay tuned to be able to check that one out. Really, that's all I've got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed the little review. Make sure you guys check me out over on Instagram, Rust Belt Mechanic. That's where you can find me there. Or you can email me directly at therustbeltmechanic at gmail.com. 
appreciate you guys stopping in today and as always you guys stay awesome